Hello folks and welcome back to Court Farm. Here we are, we're still in January now and we've got a few things to do today. For one, we've got the stroll that we had previously collected for all the contracts we did in the last year. They need to be processed and all that other good stuff, so we'll get right on that today. But first of all, we need to do some daily stuff of checking on, on our animals. Because they need topping up. So if we have a look. Yep, our court front cows need feeds. And our Angus's are right at the moment, so I think for the time being we we'll leave, leave them be for a couple more weeks before we're gonna have to feed them. So let's pull up here. So I think I left the mixer wagon up here. So yeah, just pull in here. Yep, it's right there. And yeah, also what's in here? Have any more pad spawns? Nope. Fair enough. That's been a little while since I've done an episode, so just get myself into the realm of things again. So we'll leave our stuff here. For when we get more pad spawn in. There we go. So yeah, if we have a look. All of that strawberry had like two million liters. They have been moved out and laid across the field, so we'll take care of that. But yeah, how is our field looking? So I'll do either need fertilizer or anything like that. So let's have a little look here. Our grass fields need fertilizing. So if we go to one of these. Go to Court Farm Silo. So yeah, this grass has been yeah, we did in the last episode, didn't we? Did the master storage work, so I think yeah, we'll get that for rice as well today. And I think in fairness we can skip to February as well. Cause if we look at our prices for silage, I think June is a good time to sell Soybeans, not so much at the moment. Wheat and barley will keep a hold off. If we got milk to sell, then yeah. Actually, how much is TMR going for? Not a lot of money, but silage. At the moment, we're looking at around 570, and we can get more of that. We can get 580 at five down bell so I think we'll do that we'll sell that today straw is 147 and we can get 152 at the sell everything container so I think today is going to be the day where we sell all this. so actually what I'll do we've got 20 bells already loaded up of silage right I'm sure these are all fermented. Um, actually, if we do it this way. Yeah, go out here. It's all slightly. It's 1.35 million. And that's going to. Where is it? Foydan Bells. And the price is going down on that. So. Whilst the price is hot. So. Tag the place, where's that to? Alright, that's all the way up there. Fair enough. So, I say for the time being, just go, because where is it going to go? Is it going to go south or north? If I guess, it'll go north. So, let's select that. There we go. Worker's going to be doing its thing on that. And where is our mix wagon to? There we go. And now let's head to Court Farm and fill up the cows. Ah, it's on transport mode, so I'll sort that out as well. And here we are, so let's quickly pull in here before the lorry comes. Ah, so I'm blocking this path, fair enough. We'll go around. So that solved it. It's on its way again. And where are you going? 
You know what? Fine. Oh, oh. Man, these workers, like, you pay them good money now, you pay them good salaries and that. And they just go and whatever, fair enough. If they do any damages on the other properties, they're paying for it, not me. I know technically I'm liable as the farmer, they're just workers for my business and that, but I'm making pay. If they damage anything, they will pay for it, so. Oh, anyways. Oh, that's in the way. We'll skadoodle you out of the way. For now, I think we'll just whack that into the shed here. And really, we should keep this close. But anyways, let's go and offload the TMR here. And yeah, a bit off there. Yes, yeah, we've got our angle approach all wrong, so let's go and correct that. There we go, off the load in the feed, and how's the worker doing at the moment? The other worker's going up there, so. But yeah, back to the animals and cows. Yeah, they're gonna need a little bit more, I think, so yeah. Let's get them fed, and our Angus is they need hay. And do we have any hay about still? Couple of pallets, not pallets, bells here. I think, did we put some down here at Stonebridge Farm? For this very reason, or am I mistaken? So if I place the hay bells, surely they'll be over here somewhere. So yeah, recall doing a buckload, just giving it to the sheep and all that, so... Maybe it looks like we're going to have to buy some bells for the time being. Yeah, I don't recall having any more hay bells, so come spring next year, we have our first cut of grass that will be for the hay. Because, yeah, I remember when we do the first cut of next year, so that'll be April we'll be mowing. And yeah, things like corn I was going to plant, barley, and what else was it? I was going to plant, I'm not sure. Maybe fill beans and that? Who knows? But yeah, let's get these animals fed. And then we'll see where we stand afterwards. I Actually, you know what? Let's quickly sell this first. We'll sell this first, so first of all. So then we've got huge trailer loads of silage and that from the two pits, which is like, what, 800,000 litres? So, all in all, we got about 4 million litres of straw and silage to sell. There we go. So, yes, yeah, get this all unloaded. So, just move it over here. And I'm thinking as we just go along, it's going to sell it, right? Okay, we need to unstrap them first of all. But yeah, let's see how much money we can make from these bells. At the moment, 1.5 mil. Not too bad. And that's little bits here. That's three bells. 705,000. There we go, just move them over there a little bit. That's selling, and that is selling, so... All in all, yeah, it's close to 700 in. 80 grand, so yeah. I said, let's get Ressi's animals fed, and then we'll see where we stand afterwards.
we go. That is all of our animals fed and topped up. And what we're doing for the time being is at least a trader. Because we're going to need this to move the silage. So, turn the times back up there. The times free. So, yeah, we've got this trader. It holds about just over 100,000 litres. So, we're still going to be looking at making like, what, seven trips or so with this? Seven trips we give or take. But yeah, also we need to top up the straw for our cow. So what I've got done is got a bucket or two or three of straw, put it into the mixed wagon, and then yeah, just left it near the field entrance to the farm. So yeah, we'll get that sorted in a sec whilst I will quickly pick this up. We'll do this later on in the episode. So after we've done the straw now for the animals, or for the cows, we need to sort out the straw and bathe it, because as you can probably tell what's most likely going to be the thumbnail. Yeah, we got a huge pile of straw to sort out. So yeah, we'll go over that in a second here. So where should I park this to? Uh, over here, I think. Over here, let's turn around. Yeah, turn around and we just there we go. So yeah, just turn around here. No, not like that. There we go. That's it, that's it. And yeah, let's place it here. Yeah, so the take what about ten? No, sorry, twelve bucket loads to fill this up. Yeah, I think this holds eight thousand years like. So for this, I don't. It's going to be three and a bit trips. So you say four trips because I'll be using the other pit once we're empty. And why is the signage invisible? This is all invisible in the trailer at least, but still. Wish we had. Do we get a conveyor in? That would be easier for us, so. Actually, well, give me a sec here. I'm gonna have a look here, see if we can get a conveyor set going here. Actually, no more. Because of the amount of sizes we've got here, I'm tempted just to use this, so... There we go. This will... Basically, it churns it up and pretty much shoots it out, so... Technically, it's realistic. In a way, with advanced technology and that. But yeah, we're going to need to... May need to slightly reposition this. No, well, that's fine, we can deal with that. Move those eggs back over. I think somewhere there was the point for it, so. So you back it up. Something like that, so yeah, give it a quick whirl. And there we go, picking up the signage and chucking it in. Like compared to what we was doing previous, a uh, very effective way of sorting out the signage. And that is a full load, alright? Yep, that is a full load. Why can't we steer or something? What? Why can't we steer? So 
horse and steer. Don't tell me you've got a weight issue or something. See, so yeah, it's like it's not turning at all. Is it because it's on tracks or something? Like, that is very peculiar. Like, I'm cranking left. I guess there's not enough traction at the front. That's interesting. He has like literally no steering input whatsoever. Like, huh? Maybe we need to use something else. Like, does this have like a attach on the front? No, because I know you can get some lorries and that. I can have the little attachers on the front, like ball bars and that. Something like that, like the cab over. Maybe. Oh, that is going to be an issue for us, so. Yeah, I know you can get, like, was it the TLX Phoenix or something with the recovery thing weight? Maybe we need to use a tractor then, a fifth wheel. Fair enough, bear me a sec whilst I get that sorted. Okay, so let's try this. So we've got the fence here, we've got a 3.3 ton weight at the front. Will that work? Seems so. Yeah, no complaints. So yeah, where are we sending the size to now? Is it still at 5 dumbbells? Five down bells, five seven six, or the farmers market. Actually, five eighty one at tall trees. Uh, is that tall trees here? Yeah. So actually, what we'll deliver, start to loop in if we can, and set it to tall tree bells. Sort job. Okay, apparently that's not reachable. Fine, we'll do it this way. Yeah, it's gonna come out of here, go up, down, and like so. So yeah, we say go there. And that should be doing its own thing. So yeah, with that on its way, hopefully, we'll put the straw in the silo for the cows. And then we'll go to baiting all the straw on that, so... Because, yeah, that is a lot of straw we're going to be processing. And exactly how it's going to work, I do not know. But I'm optimistic, I am. I'm optimistic to see what we can do here. Is that sort it has been put in? There we go, just having a look at our straw. Then if we go to our animals. Yep, they got a full bed of straw. And has that work removed yet? Yes it has, so lovely jubbly. And yeah, that's gonna take a few trips as we have said already. But yeah, let's look at this straw pole here, so at least a bayer system for this, because we've got this. Two million litres of straw just spread across everywhere. Like, as far as the eye can see, pretty much so. And actually, I don't know if we should use the wind rover, because... This is already big enough, and chucking it in may cause some issues, I think. Let's give it a try anyways, because I want to get all this belt. 
First of all, make sure we're at the right capacity. So we want the biggest capacity we can get. There we go, right, final fault. Yeah. We're going to have issues here with this. Oh yeah, we're going to have issues, so... Alright. Let's try this. Let's do it sideways. Nope. At least we don't have the capacity to pick it up at a faster rate, so... It looks like what we're going to have to do is go from its sides, so... Alright, so if we say, done you... Why don't we just stick to just normal bathing, so... Go across it... Like so... And if we start on this side, because... Yeah, that's all been sorted, so... There we go, if we do that, let's go along the side, and then we can get all of our bells, so yep, you know what, let's do it this way, let's get this all done, and I'll see you folks afterwards once we're done here. Are done with the bathing and boy was that hectic or what and the good thing is these accept all the bells so remember these are 81,000 litre bells so that's why I went with the increased density because we had so much bloody straw in that to process so I thought heck it we can just pick it all up and beat it, so... And the good thing is, I think we can actually sell everything in one go. I may leave one bell for the cows and that. One or two bells, so... I think there's a bell down there that hasn't been rendered in. Okay, it's one bell down there. So if we leave... That one up there, top sorted. But still, we've got 25 bells to sell. And that said, these are 81,000 of your bells, so... Not too bad, if I have to say so myself. So yeah, where we send a stroll? I can't remember. <laughs> remember. Uh, we're looking at 148150 at sell everything container. Yeah, not an industrial BGA back with sending it there, so. Sell everything container it is. And there we go, so yeah, we're just over here now. And this is where we're going to be selling all of our bales, so. Should get a decent sum out of it. I doubt we'll be able to get all of it in one go, but. Give it a go anyway, so Alright, so the 
himself here. Oh yeah, it's just it's all over the place, so you know what? Do it this way. up and remember this is just from all the contracts we've done during the year so so that is 195 grand plus a additional For about 280 plus. Another 24 grand, so that is. Yeah, about 304, 305 grand in straw. That's just straw alone, and from all the contracts we've been doing over the last year or so. Overall, not too bad. Now what we need to do is, first of all, pick up those two straw bells. Uh, we'll just put them in storage for the time being. Because, yeah, I think they all fit into the mix wagon. And yeah, I'm going to go the quickest route, which is literally this way through the farming now. So otherwise, the other route is I go around by the home farming now, go along the fields and double backing on yourself so but yeah 162,000 years of straw that should last us a fair while I'd say worst case scenario we can just do a harvesting contract and get some straw from that during next year but I think in fairness that should be it for a straw now for the year next I want to get a little bit of straw from our harvest next year because doing barley and oats, so at the moment, yeah, barley and oats. So yeah, we'll still get short from those two. And yeah, it's just every year I think, just do a green harvest every year and that. But yeah, I want to do something different in the coming year, so I doubt we're going to be doing any winter crop this year. So I want to get, you know, some of the new stuff part of the premium expansion DLC. You know, the red beets, parsnips, and carrots. I want to get those and, yeah, just have a crack at it on here. We'll be doing this play on the long cut in the new year, but with what I'm going to be doing, Unless there's mods that let us use basically current equipment or current mods enabled to be adapted for carrots and all that stuff, then yeah, by all means we'll use it, but just basically with Zilonka, my plan is going to be use that as a series 4 vintage survival. Obviously, I think for the time being that will coincide impartial with Survival Challenge. Or well, I mean, yeah, because I think here, like, just pretty much as of recording this on the 22nd, and this episode should come out today, hopefully. But yeah, as of recording this, I've done four batch recordings of No Man's Sand. You know, just gone to a rhythm and that, and just got cracking on with it. No fucking asking about or anything, just literally whack some tunes on and, uh, and just, yeah, recorded four episodes. That took me the best part of half half a day to do all four. When I say half a day, I mean like 12 hours of recording and that. 
recording and just do stuff because, yeah, like, uh, what we will be doing, the like grapes and that, try not to spoil anything, we'll be doing grapes. And that took forever to do and sort out, so, yeah, no regrets on that, but, anyways, why did you go up there this time? Before you went down south, so why change now? I don't know. Shame can't use a worker in that. Well, not use a worker, use a lorry. That will make life so much easier, but... It's one of those things, it's what it is in that. And I think what we'll do to run off the episode here is... Sell the remainder of our signage. So we've done one load, got about 60,000 litres from it, give or take. As you see, this has got some like mass to it as well. It's just the way it manipulates the dolly in that. So I think at the moment we're still at the best place to sell signage. Tall trees, 580. Technically, so everything is 581. But you know what? I'm not going to argue over a quid for a thousand litres. Like, for one load, that is literally a hundred quid in that, or whatever it is, hundred quid, maybe grand. No, it'd be a hundred quid. So, yeah, you know what? I'm not petty over a grand. Like, at the moment, we're at 2.4 mil. And I've got huge plans for next year, and most of that money will be going up this year, not next year, next farming season. Because, yeah. Because the equipment used for the carrots and all that are pretty expensive. And I will try using the actual DLC items before I resort to doing. Anything with like, like the Homo Terrados T440 horses pack because that's easy. Ooh, break. Yeah, that is easy to do in that, you know, but if I can use the base game stuff or the DLC stuff, which is technically base game, just a DLC of the base game, not a mod. Whoa, where have we gone to? Ah, oh, bloody cement mixer. My old nemesis. And that goes to you as well. Don't go beeping at me! Christ, what have I done to you? Oh, what was I saying? <laughs> I absolutely forgot. Oh yeah, the equipment and that. So, we'll be using some of the normal stuff. That's come from the DLC before I do anything with mods and that. Because I think I can make it work. Even if it means doing a bit of a janky setup. Janky, I can deal with that. I can do janky for sure, so. There we go. Let's back it up. How much left we got here? How many? Two more trips? One and a bit more trips, so. We've got 147,000 litres there. And we've got. How much here? So yeah, that is four. Technically five trips, so. That's fine. And yeah, actually. Is it hay or silage? Oh, wait a minute, for the Anguses. At the moment, we're just doing hay at the moment. But I think with the remainder of the silage, we can actually keep it and give it to our cattle because, yeah, 90% effectiveness is still good enough. Don't have to mess around with 
mix and stuff and that, so maybe that's something to look into, just doing silage for our cows for this for the coming years and that. This series is still gonna be going for a fair while, I think what is it Ron? Episode 45 or something like that. But yeah, with what I got planned in that. Oh yeah. But this is easy I said before, this is gonna be a easily a 100 episode series and where are you going? So yeah, we're on episode 43 at the moment. So there's nothing to say. Where are you going? What's over Oh no, not an air, for Christ's Christ sake. Uh so yeah. Sorry, a little sniffle there. So yeah, let's get this done, and then we'll talk before we're done. And as always, I'll see you folks afterwards once we're done here. There we go, so we're selling the lasso silage and actually didn't have anything left over. Thought we would off, but nope. This was just under a full though, that makes sense. It's about, was it, 108,000 litre capacity or something? Go under traders, yeah, 108,500 litre or so. Well, that's fine, so yeah, now we're at 2. 0.7 million. We can return these baiters, so that one will return. That will return. Don't know why these stats. That will return. Return you. Return you. 
I'm returning you on this. But yeah, the mowers and that, I said in the last episodes, we will keep those for the time being. Just, yeah, I mean, because, simply just because, like, we're gonna need it in June, well, not June, um, was it April? Actually, is it worth just returning everything? Yeah, because we don't have anything until March. And that point, we're at the money stage where we can purchase our own equipment, so. Well, yeah, I think, on that note, that's where we'll leave it today, so. I think next time will be in either February or March. Like, honestly, there ain't much going on. And if they do, that's when I'll start the episode. I would do his contracts and then we'll skip ahead or something, but. Yeah, one thing we need to do in between the episodes is get one of those big bag for uh, pallet things. Fleet or pallets, whatever it is. And obviously, sort these again because. Yeah. And let's do that. But yeah, that's a easy task to deal with. It won't take us too long. But yeah, as always, hope you enjoyed the episode. If so, smash that button. Feel free to down below. If you want to share some, please be my guest. If you're not subscribed to the channel yet, then please consider. But, very just do. Hope you have a nice day. But for now, it's been far from Evo Extreme. And I'll see you all. A very soon.